Hey, what's up? It's your boy Tyrone, aka Bo Beast. Bo Beast Entertainment. I'm here with my man Shane Films. Filmed it. Filmed me. About to do a little Q and A for y'all. Yeah. So my pops, he had started Strong Arm Family back in the 90s. Um, and they used to record at the crib that we were staying at, the little apartment. And whenever everybody would come over and record, he'd be like, all right, you guys stay downstairs. You know what I'm saying? I was too young to be around that kind of shit. But me, being the person I am, I used to crawl up to the top of the steps and just kind of like look, listen. And I don't know, something about music just caught me. Um, Join band fifth grade. That's something that a lot of people don't know about me. That's where I actually learned how to count music, read music, learn the melodies and shit. Sixth grade, I got into the actual band. So that's when I actually really like started to read music. Um, composed our first song in jazz band, which is where I learned how to improvise. Listen to any of my music that I actually produced. At the end, I'll have some kind of improvisation that allows you to actually like be connected to the beat, you feel me? As opposed to listening to something that's like, oh, this shit's fucking lit. You get to actually put some feelings into it, or at least see how I was feeling whenever I made the beat. But yeah, yo, my pop started all of this. It's the seed of the arm, you feel me? Shit, honestly, yo, like when I first started, it was kind of like iffy, you know what I mean? Like. Maybe you should go to college, maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that. And then it turned into, they started seeing my progression and how serious I got about it. And they are like, you know what, this is what you want to do, we're going to help you run with it. My mom, she's probably one of my biggest supporters. My dad, easily my biggest supporter. But like my grandmother and stuff like that, she'd be like, maybe you shouldn't cuss so much. So man, I'm sorry. But I feel like in order to really get my point across, I can say I'm mad or I can say I'm fucking pissed off. Which one are you going to believe? You feel me? How to choose between making beats or rapping? I would say probably rapping. Um, making beats is like iffy, you know what I mean? Depends on how I'm feeling that type of day. Uh, whatever's going on in my head. But rapping, I can sit there and pick a beat off the internet, write some dumb shit, even if I want to just, you know, write some shit just to write some shit. And nowadays, that's what's making motherfuckers rich, anyways. Uh, but producing, I don't know. There's a lot of work behind the scenes that people don't credit enough for, like. Producers need more credit, bro, I swear to God. That shit's crazy. They'll be like, oh, this beat's tough, and never shout out the producer. So, I don't know. I, I say rapping. I say what motivates me is, like, being financially free in the sense of, I see something, I want it, I buy it type shit. Like, I don't want to go and check the price tag and be like, oh, nah, this will put me in a hole or this might be this, but this might be that, you feel me? Like, I try to take care of my family. I want to be able to have my family being financially free. They see something, they get it, you know what I mean? And all the while, I'm not hurting my own pockets. It's all out of love. Cuffing in season, huh? She let me dive in the deep and huh? Watch me as I flex, cause they move on, I was stuck on my head. I'm gonna say Ski Master Slum God. He's got a pretty unique sound, but at the same time, he's able to switch it up and it's still like understandable. You feel me? Too many mumble rappers out here. I'd also probably like to do a song with Low Skies, only in the sense of like he came from here, he got the same motivation, same aspirations type shit. Too many people are out here dick riding him, and I don't want more to think that I'm one of his little groupies. So if it happens, it happens. If not, I ain't no sweat off my back. Level up, now I got bitches, they flutting my cellular. Don't want them, no happy bitches, it's regular. No conversation if she ain't intelligent. Got me like, hold up. Honestly, personally myself, I would say I'm pretty unique. I try not to stick with one flow, you know what I mean? I'm definitely not riding any of these other niggas' waves. Uh, if you had to compare me to somebody, who would you say? I would say, strictly attitude-wise, I'm going with Hobson. Hey, I take that. Hobson, shit. Now what I'm saying? Money, y'all niggas is snoring. Hey, got the button over my city. Hey, look at they faces, they shitty. Hey, raining. Out. Got shows coming in the future October 12th, 8 30 p.m. Shippersburg, PA, the Thought Lot. You feel me? Make sure y'all pull up, show love, support. Come turn the fuck up with us. Um, I'm gonna have some music videos dropping soon. Just kind of like in the mix of picking out what songs we're gonna use and whatnot. But you already know my man Shane Film filmed it behind the camera, you know what I'm saying? So whatever it is we shoot, that shit gonna be tough. Stay tuned. Down the Royal Hookah and Cafe out here by Dunkin' Donuts. Y'all gonna have to stop out here and check them out. New dope spot that just opened up. That shit crazy. Yeah. That shit crazy. I don't know. Bitch! Hey. Flex so hard, I might blow out of vein. Young nigga, fuck up the game. Stressing too